All right, fourth graders, it's Ms. Leanne again. We are going to be continuing on with the idea of dividing using compatible numbers with those fact families. Remember, we are finding estimates. We're not finding actual answers. We're just finding an answer that would be reasonable to our actual answer. That way we're double checking ourselves. Remember that when we are dividing, we are finding we are, when we are dividing, we make sure that our groups have equal amounts. It's only fair. If you were with your friends or your brothers and sisters, you wouldn't want somebody getting more than you that wouldn't be fair. But in our math problem today, we are just going to take this one step further than we did yesterday. We are going to do 1,320 divided by 6. And guess what? Just like yesterday, 1,320 does not divide equally into six. It's not going to be even groups. So we're going to have to estimate. All right, and so because it doesn't divide evenly, well, even if it did, we are going to be using our fact family tree. So I have 1,320, that's the biggest number that we have that's starting our division problem in our sentence, divided by six, and we're gonna have it just say equals, I don't know, we're just gonna say question mark. Okay, we're going to fill in that question mark. It could be an R, it could be an A, it could be a heart, a smiley face question mark, or a box. Doesn't much matter. We're going to go ahead and find out what this number could be. Because we have our fact family tree, remember this relationship is division and multiplication. We will have two division problems and two multiplication problems that will make up this family. Again, I'm going to go ahead and write those problems out just to give you a quick idea. All right, now that I have made my two multiplication problems, six times some number equals 1,320. You could flip these around no matter what the order. And then my two division problems, 1,320 divided by six would be equaling question mark or 1,320 divided by question mark would equal six. I'm going to take my two multiplication problems. I'm gonna flip it around, kind of kick it into reverse and use that to help me find the answer to my division problem. So we're going to say six times what number equals close to, again, remember, we are not gonna know exactly, 1,320. All right, so I'm gonna kind of start from the beginning here with my um, multiple. So six times one would equal six. Well, the beginning of my number right here is not six. It's kind of, you know, like less than. So let's kind of try this again. Six times two, that's 12. Well, 12 is getting kind of close to these first two numbers. So that's a possibility. I could also try six times three. And six times three is 18. Using my basic math facts, and 18 is a bit larger than these two. So I'm gonna try to build on again, and I'm gonna add a zero to each one of these numbers. All right, so six times, I'm gonna put a zero behind here, 10 equals 600, or 60, sorry. Six times 20 would be, six times two is 12 plus one zero, that's 120. I'm getting kind of closer. Or I could do six times 30. Six times three is 18. And I'm gonna add one zero, 180. So we're getting kind of closer to that spot that we're looking for. Let's go ahead and add one more zero onto the back of these numbers. Maybe that will help us because we'll get out of the hundreds and into the thousands area like we need to be. All right, so six and times 10, we're gonna add one more zero. And I'm going to do six times one is six plus two zeros is 600. All right, so six times two is 12. And I am going to do 200. So that'd be two more zeros, that'd be 1,200. And then now I'm going to try six times 300. So six times three is 18 with two zeros on the back, one, two, 
1,800. So looking at these three amounts right here, I'm finding that this would probably be the way to go. One, six times 200 equals 1,200. 1,200 is the closest to 1,320. So I'm going to say 1,320 divided by six is about, 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 about 200. It's not going to be exactly 200, but my answer, when I get my real answer, I should expect that it'd be somewhere around the 200 or 300s area, somewhere between two and 300. Go ahead and let's try this on your own.